Whoa. Whoa. It's fucking cracking. Headline. It's seven. And five. And four. Curry to win. Good. Whoa. Whoa. It's fucking cracking. Pull out the fucking huh? Hold on to the fucking clock, you man. Hold on to the fucking clock, Whoa. bitch. Whoa. Whoa. Look. Okay. She wanna get jig, she wanna get jig. We don't get shit, we don't get shit. Hash out and just drizz, drizz, just drizz. Like, baby, just listen. Just listen. Like a marriage with the Christians. Christians? I'm who I'm different. I love Chris love. Rich. Back out. Back out. I'm with some move with the strap out. B and B look like a fat house. Shorty want me cause I get to the best now. Like, waiting. I saw my show to be patient. patient. Papa Perky got me doing the matrix. Papa Perky got me doing the line. Don't trust no man. So before we get into the guard, Cam is about to go with some gameplay right here. I saw that he was about to follow me in, so I did the hop jumper. Oh my god. Shot the shot, bro. Right? And you went out. That's so simple. Right here, they pressed me on the inbound. You gotta move around when you get pressed on the inbound. You even move around when you hold yourself. Like I told y'all, I gotta dribble behind half court so I don't lose adrenaline boost. Not above half court, behind half court. So, so how he was playing me, I just faded, bro. I told y'all, I fade OP in this game, bro. Boom, right here, same thing. I saw he's pressed me on the end, but I just ran down and faded. Now let's get into the news gameplay right here. Y'all gonna be able to see. I saw he was following me to the left side. It spent back and faded, bro. I'm telling you, oh, nah, he so much space, bro. Make sure y'all like the video. <laughs> so as y'all can see right here, I'm about to tell y'all what I did, man. I saw, I saw how he was playing me. He, he, he thought I was gonna run around. So since he thought I was gonna run around, I hit the walk back. Grand. I'm gonna get y'all come guard academy. So first we're gonna start off with the build. I'm gonna get y'all the jump shot. I'm gonna get y'all early. So here go to. Bill, you wanna go to point guard, right or left hand don't matter. Jersey number don't matter. Height, you wanna go with six one. Lowest weight, lowest wingspan, body shape, you know you wanna go with slight. You want your player to be the skinniest he be so you be the fastest. So look, here go to build right here. Just copy all this. I ain't gonna go too in depth on it so we get to the other step. Just copy just like this. 94 acceleration gonna be super fast. 91 speed with ball, 95 ball handle. You get a 95 three, and you still get the simple pro contact dunk package. You still got 77 driving there. Just look at this build, bro. Only thing about this build is no defense. But if you want defensive badges, go to my other build. I get like 11 two defensive badges. All oh, that's in the video on my uh, YouTube. where you gotta do is scroll down. So boom, takeovers like I told y'all. Well, I didn't tell y'all because this first in the video. But as y'all gonna see later in the video. You wanna go with shot first and then shot, bro. So you can shoot them phase, bro. Phases matter. On my other build, also I got slash and take. So if you want that slash and take, watch that build video. Go on my other build, you can get slash and take. And this the build. I'm get out of badges and all that. Once we get into the video, I'm gone. Watch y'all YouTube. Y'all enjoy them clips. I'm about to get y'all a God Academy video. I'm about to get y'all all the tips, all the tricks on how to be a comp stage guy. So first, we're gonna start off with the badges. I'm gonna get out of build, the jump shot. I'm gonna get y'all the face crease, I'm gonna get y'all everything, bro. So, these are my finishing badges right here. Acrobat. Y'all just look, y'all just look, just put this on, bro. Whatever I got on, just put on. These are my shooting badges. In the previous video, I just gave y'all the best shooting badge setup, which y'all could do, how y'all could switch it around. I'm gonna do one more time for y'all in this video. Boom, boom. But me personally, right now, I'm running this setup right here. I'm gonna keep this on right here. Got a playmaking badge, so I'm about to go over them now. Uh, I had them for days. I ran in silver instead of gold because I really don't see no difference in it. Ankle breaker, you don't got to use this. I just be keeping it on. I really don't get that many ankle breakers with it. But if not, I'm running this. Or if not, I'm running this and this. Or I would either run this on silver or one of these on bronze. That's for making a bad setup. Defensive. This don't really matter, but since I play stage and I'm in the corner, I just, I just really put on whatever badge I can put on. You see, I only got 11. So I just really put on every badge I could just put on. That's how I do my defensive badges. So next for the takeover, hey, look for y'all takeovers. Make sure I ain't gonna lie. I would say for right now for the current matter, go with shot creator and then go with spot up shooter takeover. So you could just do unlimited phase, man. Phase in this game unbroken. So go shot creator and take first, and then sharp shooting takeover. And it's just fade. When you get your take, just fade, bro. You gonna make every fade, bro. I'ma get out the best jump shot and all that. Next, I'm gonna get out of um, animations. The best dribble moves. I'm gonna also get out of mini dribble tutorial in this video. So, Michael Jordan, 
Trey Young. Size of escape packages is three things you could do with this. You go with Paul George, you go with uh, John Wall or Trey Young. So Paul George, John Wall, Trey Young. At first I was using John Wall. I didn't try Trey Young yet, but if you play 2K22 a lot, you're gonna like Trey Young. But for right now, I just been sticking with Paul George. Trey Young moving crossover. Dame behind the back. Basic span. Luca Hazzy. You could also go with um Zach Hazzy or Kyrie Hazzy. I just been sticking with Luca. I feel like it make my uh stop and go move like it make it more um what's the word? It just make I get it more. It help me get him more just be feeling smoother with Luca. So I keep on Luca. Moving step back, keep on normal do the Asta. The rest of that really don't matter. Uh it might get out of jump shot too. Oh, for dribble pull up, make sure you got on Trey Young dribble pull up the green no phase, bruh. Boom. The one thing I forgot to tell y'all was a sig size up. You could also go with Steve Francis. A lot of guys in the stage also use Steve Francis. Me personally, I'm just sticking with Trey Young. I just prefer Trey Young over Steve Francis. But yeah, Steve Francis is also a good alternative. Face creation one time, best guy, face creation man. I'm gonna go over it quick for y'all because I just dropped the vid on it. Best guy, face creation, bro. Put this face creation on, it's gonna turn you into a demon, bro. You're gonna green every shot, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Telling y'all, man. Mind I feel like, I feel like. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very, very good guy on this game. And I'm just giving y'all all the tips, bro. I'm gonna also break down some gameplays for y'all. I'm just gonna do everything I can to turn y'all into a come guy. Hope y'all be the best guy there is, bro, on this game, bro. Boom, and that's it for the free creation right there. So now, I'm about to get, about to get right back with y'all. The jump shot. Hit a jump shot. LaMelo. Same thing I just gave y'all in that jumper video, man. It's best jumper. The jumper. It's the best jumper. LaMelo, Oscar, Oscar. And like I told y'all with the second one, hold on. You want to go with max speed. I mean, I forget. Go with max speed. Blend in either 60-40 or 55-45. Because I'm going to tell y'all why. If the jumper goes broke... Only change your second release, the jump is still going to be checking. Y'all see the jump I got on name as D-Wade. Right now I got my second release as D-Wade, but I switched my second release to a lot of different things. Right? If you use CJ McCollum, second release, chicken. Uh, D-Wade, like I just told y'all, his second release, that's chicken. And I'm going to give y'all one more. Just let me find it for y'all. Here go D-Wade, though. D-Wade is on this page right here. And then John Wall. You go with John Wall. Boom. Them three right there, chicken, bruh. But if I was y'all, I would stick with the Oscar. Oscar one first. That one. What's the best one? I just be switching it sometimes to get a different feel. Oh, yeah, and with your base, you go with, with the jump shot I just gave y'all. Hold on. You go Oscar, and then with the base, like I told y'all in the jumper video, you go Steph Curry for the base. Or you go Kevin Porter or Lamelo. I personally prefer Lamelo out of all three of them bases, though. But yeah, that's all you could do with it, just like that right there. So that's the best jump shot. Uh, shooting tips to help y'all gain more shots. Controller settings. You want your vibration off. Your shot meter off. Shot time release. Put this on early. Some people like late. They say late is the normal timing, but me personally, I like early. Just hope you. Green way quicker, bro. Make your jump shot way faster, bro. So I like early. I green over early. I never really use late. This default, absolute, absolute. The rest of this don't really matter. Just this and this would really matter. This don't really matter to all. That's preference. Look, y'all. For the second, for the next part of the video, I'm gonna get out of build the beginning of the video. So for the next part of the video, um, I'm about to get y'all. I'm about to get get y'all mini drill tutorial and get y'all a tip to shoot better. The shoot better on this game. Put your mac on Hall of Fame and just come in the mac court and just shoot, bruh. Use the ball machine and just shoot. Come uh, stage. Stage difficulty is on Hall of Fame. Pockets on Superstar. So if you just in your mac court shooting on Hall of Fame, it's going to help you get better with your shot. And also, a good thing to do, which I do sometimes, the warm up or just to, just to practice my combos and stuff, I um, invite somebody to the mac court and do a personal workout. All right, so first is the speed boost. So the speed boost, all you want to do is hold R2, flick diagonally to the top left 
I mean, flick up to the top left on your right stick, and then with your left stick, just run the same way that you flick with your right stick. Speed boost. Speed boost. Speed boost. You only get a speed boost out of make sure out of, out of um, certain moves, though. So, yeah, that's the speed boost. That's how you speed boost on this game. The next move I'm going to teach you is the quick and stop or the peak. So, the peak, you just want to run, tap L2, run again. So, let go of everything, tap L2, run again. So, let me show y'all. Run, tap L2, let go of everything, go. Tap L2, go. Tap L2, go. Boom, that easy. All of your combos, you could catch a lot of locks with this in the comp stage. So you do. Boom. For the next move, I'm gonna get y'all. I'm gonna get y'all the Asta. So to do the Asta, you run straight down, flick down on your right stick, and then hold down on it. So it look like this. Boom. See how far it take me back? Hold on. Take me back that far. You can fade off of it. You can shoot off of it. It's just the AI, so it ain't gonna be as effective as it would be on a real player. Let me get the right animation. It ain't even giving me the right animation. When you do it, you get a long step back off of it. Trying to get it for y'all. This is basically the step back you would get right there. That one right there. He just it's just the AI. So I'm trying to do the Austin. He just bumped me a little bit. But yeah, that's basically it. To do the Austin, all you're doing is running down and you're just flicking down on your right stick. Look, they letting the AI get everything. Uh, what's the next? Next, I'm gonna teach y'all combo for for a combo for the saves I got. Flick to the top right with your right stick, and then you want to go. Not let go of R2. So to do this move, you gotta hold R2 to do it. So hold R2, flick to the top right. So let go of R2, flick top left, middle left, bottom right. Same one I got taught y'all in the drill tutorial, just with different saves. So you flick. Let me get off code. I see I'm breaking in the map for That's great. But yeah, that's basically it's a little quick drill tutorial for y'all. Or just it's, I just gave y'all like a cool little fire moves, but no fire moves. Oh, let me teach y'all the momentum, my bad. I teach y'all the momentum. So the momentum, even though it's easy, all this is in the drill tutorial. This is a it's just something for the vid to put in the vid and get y'all a little a little simple combos that's effective in stage like the ones that you need but just not having to chain them together so to do the momentum you flick up on your right stick and then you do your left stick to the opposite ball hand so the ball in my right hand I'm gonna flick up with my right stick and take the left stick to the top left just like the other move I taught y'all but you're moving your sticks a different way and I'm gonna teach you I'm gonna get out one combo to get out uh, another combo as you run up the court flick up on your right stick go over on your right stick so you run up, flick up, go over. So go to the middle with your right stick, to the opposite hand, and then go down. So this is gonna look like this. That's basically how it's going. Stage, bro, you want to feed, bro. As you can see, look. Look how easy it is. I never think you in the stage, but you want to fade. Just do a move and go. So you see how easy it is for me to fade on the AI in the Mac court. Boom, green. Every time I fade, look. Every time I fade is gonna be green. All you gotta do is run, go, and fade. You gonna get open so much off there in the stage, bro. You don't gotta over dribble this shit. You could just run, just fade. A little bit of space you fade every time is green, bro. Trust. A lot of locks won't even expect to fade sometimes. Depending on what fade animation you get, they might get a contest. But this is just the AI, so they gonna give them more stuff than they, than they would give a real player. See, look. Real game, bro. Oh, that's great, bro. I'm not missing none of that, bro. Trust. Well, yeah, that's all I want to tell y'all. Just fade, bro. Fade is very OP in this game. That's why I told y'all go with sharp take. I'm mean, gonna go with shot take and then go with um sharp take in this game. So you could do this right here, look. Every time, bro, just feed green, bro. Green. I'm breaking though, y'all. 
I'm trying to get what I'm saying, bro. The gameplay the clips me for itself, though, bro. I'm just in a macro. I don't know why I'm breaking so much right now, y'all. It's two more. It's two more moves that I need to teach y'all, which is the um. Oh, no, I already told y'all the momentum, so I'm gonna teach y'all the hezzy step back, and I'm gonna give y'all one more secret set that you could use. So, to do the little step back, just flick up on your right stick and then hold down your left stick. Let me view this right here. It's good to um reset yourself on the play and stuff, or just to do out your combos if you just combo. Just reset you, give you a little space, let you do what you want to do. I feel like a lot of guys don't use this move enough, but this move is, is really effective, but I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, before I even uh, get y'all the gameplay and teach y'all to talk over the gameplay, I'm telling y'all in the micro, if I'm in the micro right now, take your tools, bro. You see how easy it is for me to run around the AI? Take your tools in this game. Don't try to force the three possession. You gotta take with the lock gave you sometimes, bro. I'm telling you. Sometimes just take your tools, but take your tools. Bro. One more thing I want to add real quick, y'all. When you dribbling, you want to do mostly like all your combos, all your moves but that you holding on to the whole time with behind half court so you don't lose no adrenaline. You don't lose no stamina and all that. I mean, you don't use no adrenaline bars. Once you pass that half court line, it's going to take your bars. You only get three bars, so you want to use your bars wisely. Because once you don't got no bars, bro, it's going to be hard to dribble, bro. We ain't gonna be able to do certain combos and we'll make your play all slow, make your shot slow. So, hey, hey, so remember I told y'all that one tip. Pop all your R2 moves behind half court. Once you pass the half court line, the moves you wanna do, you can't really hold R2 like that. Man. But you can, but you only got three times to do it, but you only got three adrenaline bars. So just be careful when you're doing and watch the moves that you're doing. Because adrenaline bars are really important in this game. One more thing I wanna tell y'all, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Make sure that you got boost. Go to my health. You want to have. But now the boost don't stick no more because they patched it, but the boost used to stick. But you want to have, I think it's the, let me see. It's this one. You want to get the green Gatorade. This one right here. The green Gatorade and then just jump shot boost. If you want jump shot and dribbling boost, but mostly. And dunk boost because dunking is important on this game so you can go. Your ball handle boost, jumper boost, and dunk boost, but if not, just get jump shot boost. This green Gatorade, you're gonna be alright, bro.